Hello everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. Now in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely dinky little card. Um, I'm, I've got some special things here that I made this with so I'll show you those now. This sparkly stuff, it's actually an A4 glitter film. It's a self-adhesive um, and I have a little sample here. Now I discovered this on one of my many trips to craft fairs and this this store has been there quite a few times and it's called lc designs and all the links will be down below you can buy this um via their website and they also um sell on hachanda as well so you can get this there so this is a pack of 10 and it's a4 size and these guys also specialize in peel-offs so this um this black image here this silhouette is actually a peel-off it's not actually stamped on so you can actually see that there's a sticker and also this bit here as well so I'll quickly show you those and um, on their website and um, they're advertised as 70 pence each so a sheet so it's really good value for money and this one they actually sent me as a free sample so I've taken the happy birthday <clears throat> from there as well so let's get started and I'll show you how to what make it done first is I've taken this uh, sheet here and I've peeled it and stuck it onto a piece of purple cardstock. This is just any old purple cardstock. You can use any colour you like. Um, it was a bigger sheet, so I just stuck the whole lot down and I've been trimming it out and using it for things. So this is what it will look like against another colour. So this is what it looked like against the white. So it will give you a nice like white snowy theme. And I've got a piece of black here as well. It will pretty much look good on anything you use it on. So that's it on the black as well. So you can really change the look. Okay, so this measures three and a half by three. And I've taken my peel off already because this is quite fiddly to peel off. And there's a couple of bits left in there. So I, I use my pokey tool, my piercing tool, just to um, help me along here. So I'll quickly pop those out. I didn't want to end up in a big sticky old mess on film. How did it go? I just pop those out. I'm all thing fingers and thumbs today. Try not to stab yourself. Okay, so let's peel that off and then stick that on. You can actually layer this differently. So I have experimented and I like the look of the black peel off on the top. I mean, you can sandwich it in the middle, um, but it, it, it becomes more muted and um, just slightly different. So... You have an experiment and see which looks that you like. Okay, so that's down. Get everything pressed down like that. Okay, so for this frame, I've actually used uh, photo frames from Dovecraft. In the UK, I got these from um, Asda. I know these uh, photo frames are quite popular at the moment, so you can probably pick these up anywhere, even if it's a different brand and they may be different sizes. So you just have to um, adjust your um your card so it will fit and um, i do happen to know that you can also get these on amazon in the uk as well and if you have the new punch board from we and memory keepers you can also make your own with that it, the, one, the one that makes the frames okay so this goes over here just like that and i'm going to use some wet glue i'm going to put the wet glue along here just along the edges. And then you're gonna get that stuck down just like that. Don't worry if anything comes out glue-wise, this Tombow, if you use Tombow, it will dry clear. So if you are using a wet glue, make sure you use one that does dry clear in case it oozes out the edges. Okay, so I'm happy with that one. And I'm just going to move over to my peel-offs again. Now, I'm not too sure. Um, these, these aren't named, I don't think. 
but these are all listed on their website so you can find them I'm just going to take the happy birthday so this one is the, a different design this is the cat one and this one is the owl so the two nighttime scenes using my piercing tool again just to help me lift that up this will help me position it where I need it press down so these cards are so quick and simple to make and because it is a slightly awkward size you can use your um, envelope punch board to make a custom envelope for this there we go, got happy birthday on there. And now for our card base, which I've put somewhere, here it is. Okay, uh, so this measures seven and seven eighths by three and one eighths, and I've scored it in the center at three and 15 sixteenths of an inch. So all the measurements will be on the um, blog post that's going to be going with this project. All the links will be down below and a link to the shop as well, so you can buy your own. Okay, so we, all we need to do now is stick that on. Just decide what side I want for my front. So this one's slightly longer, so I'm going to have that at the front so it's easier to open. So all we've got to do now is glue that down to make things less fiddly. Line them up at the bottom just like that. And then gently press them together and line them up and then you can get those pressed down. There we go. I can see a bit of glue that's come out there. I can wipe that off with a bit of tissue. Well, I think it will do actually. And then the rest will dry clear. So no need to worry about that. And there we are. There's our dinky little card. Nice little set there. You can make a whole nice little set of these note cards or even um, just stamp on there just to note. So I'm really happy that I found this um, this glitter film because you don't get glitter everywhere and it's really handy. And if you use stays on, um, which I have, just here, the stays on ink or any alcohol based ink, you can um, use your stamps on here as well. I mean, I have tried um, with a few experiments on this and you have to have a very steady hand or otherwise it may slip around um, or you may use a misty tool or other stamping tool that will help keep everything steady. So, okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's project. Please pop along to my website and all the dimensions and the products that I've used will be listed. There'll also be links to the shop in the description box and on my blog so you can go to both places and I'll see you in my next video.